Okay, let's see what we've got here. Let's be friends, and I love you confidence. You're really black. She's not black, let's be real. For show. <laughs> and thank you. I I've never said for show or for show before in my life. And yeah, I took a little DNA test, thingy majigger, and I and yeah, I found out I have black in me. That's why I act so ghetto. Bruh. <laughs> Thingy majigger? That's like the whitest thing you could ever say. <laughs> you know? Oh, I can't get over the fact that I've said for show. For show, come on. I got pregnant at 16, but at least I got to skip 10 plus periods. No, seriously. Why? Why are, why are kids so stupid? Like, why are you having kids at the age of 16? God damn, like that's just so young. You should not be bragging about missing 10 periods because you've now got a kid for life. Well done. You officially suck. I really love these Mexican songs. Does the Hispanic community accept me as one of y'all? I tried to sing at the end but couldn't understand the gibberish he's saying. Please. <laughs> it's like... Bro, I was like... Oh, I don't even know what to say. Uh, literally, um, I'm Irish. Q&A since I'm spaghetti. <laughs> Said it wrong. <laughs> Q&A since I'm lol famous. What's your pronouns? Um, I'm Irish. God damn, I read that wrong the first time, so it, it just doesn't make sense to me anymore. Right, hello everyone, welcome back Game of Virgins. Hope everyone's not eating too many tables, you weirdos. I really appreciated all the pet pics on Twitter. It was very nice. Today we are looking at weird Gen Z again. Now, just to let everyone know, not everyone born as Gen Z are weird. It's only a few people. Like the gacha cringe? It's not everyone, so don't go out of your way to harass anyone because of when they were born. That would be so stupid. Just just don't do it. Just have fun on this channel, okay? I, I can't actually believe I had to say that. Like, hey, do you mind not bullying someone because of when they were born? <laughs> it's so stupid. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. I will be posting a lot more often, hopefully. But until then, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, I don't know when Sid the Sloth from Ice Age got a TikTok account, but short people are the future. They consume less food, use less car fuel, and more of them can fit on Earth. They're basically eco-friendly humans. This is why you should have stayed back in like the Ice Age, Sid. You suck. School starts in two weeks. This is why men suck. Ah. Oh. Oh, F me, right, guys? Like, sorry for being the reason you have to go back and get an education so you don't say stupid stuff like this anymore. God damn, you... This individual sucks. That's all I've got to say. Here's just a comment someone left on someone's TikTok. White women are better at being Asian than Asian women. Keck. <laughs> yeah, okay. Why? Why would you even say that? Who the hell says keck? <laughs> like, come on. Nobody says that anymore. Cut it out, Taliban. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can totally see that it's gonna be like, do you know what? Trash can Paul has told us to cut it out. Let's pack it up, guys, and let's go home. Okay, but you guys know Among Us literally promotes gaslighting, right? Bro, why are you crying? I've got I've got a funny story to tell you about someone. When I was playing Among Us with my friend Pegasus, he left me to die. Just just check out this clip. This is ridiculous. Dude, one of us needs to die, and they... Go, go get the other... I can't! Go, the way from... What are you doing, bro? The door... What the fuck? Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh god. The white, 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 white. It's white! It's white! Fast forward a little bit. Pink was the imposter, and as you can see, he literally left me to die. On the platform to well, die! Well, I needed to go to the button. You left me to die, honestly. Oh my god. Uh, I... What an absolutely just terrible friend. He just he just left me to die. <laughs> it's so bad. I'm glad that people are finally acknowledging that Steve is clearly a person of colour. But now that we all know that, if you keep Steve as your Minecraft avatar as a white person, you are participating in digital blackface. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, like, what even is this? Like, I don't really play Minecraft. I have an idea of who Steve is. I I don't care. <laughs> like, how how is digital blackface even a thing? It's always the white people, right? It's always us guys. We're just we're just the worst. Apparently, we're just the devil <laughs> to some people. Sorry, guys. I'll make an apology video soon, apologizing for being white. God damn. 
When my ex said he didn't know if he could ever have a daughter because changing her diaper might turn him on. Okay, bro, like, why? Why would you make this TikTok? And th this guy should be in jail. What is going on with this generation? Anyone else want to start streaming but their friends are too spaghetti? It's not that my friends are spaghetti, it's that I'm spaghetti. Bruh, like, you know, if your friends can't stop using gamer words in private, that, that's eventually gonna come out. Pack it in. It's so stupid. Oh, people just using those stupid words just to describe anything. Get in the bin. If you haven't donated to LGBTQ charities, you're a transphobic and spaghetti. Lol. Okay, I've, I haven't really donated to charities, but like, I have a very large audience who are LGBTQ orientated. And I love you guys, so I'm definitely not this or spaghetti, so sorry about that, but this person can get in the bin, they suck. What the hell is going on with your socks in the background, dirty animal? <laughs> Due to my autism and OCD, I do actually feel uncomfortable around black people. I have always felt extremely sad, uncomfortable, anxious, and sometimes I feel really scared of the fact that some of them are kind of creepy and the men are really, really scary. Nothing like some casual racism <laughs> and covering it up with your autism and OCD. Like, what even is this? Oh, Jesus Christ, this is a paragraph. Trigger warning, school and dream phobia. Please stay safe. What? What is dream phobia? Today at school, my friend said she didn't like dream. I was so angry, I got up in front of the class and said, you may not like dream, but he saved my life. I was at my lowest point, but his channel saved me. Oh, Jesus. But his, <laughs> sorry if that's not good enough for you, and then everyone started to slowly clap, and the teacher made her go to the guidance. <laughs> My teacher held me after class and said, I love Dream too. Needless to say, I got an A plus in the class. This has to be fake. This, if not, this school needs to be nuked. Hands down, I'll do it myself. <laughs> Dream phobia. Coco gender. It is described as being somewhat sweet, comforting, and tasty. This is a valid Xeno gender? The gender does not mean you identify as chocolate. What? The, uh, uh, what? Are people, like, now getting genders for kind of how they are? Like, if you're, like, a total douchebag <laughs> and you're, like, not nice, are you sour gender? Or muffin gender. God, just get spaghetti gender is going to be a thing next. I will start that. Spaghetti gender. If you're white, I will misgender you and dehumanize you. I don't give a spaghetti. If you a sish het or a spaghetti, y'all aren't humans in my eyes. Bro, what the hell even is this? What is this? Fam, like, Jesus, you look dirty. Get in that bin right there, but to be honest, that'll probably be a shower. If you support Christmas, you're spaghetti. The idea of Santa having a good and bad list promotes segregation and equality. Trigger warning, socks, shoes, chain, mask, bunny hat. Is this trigger warning? Because if so, what? who's seeing a sock and being like, oh my god, I had a really bad experience with socks when I was younger. Bruh, like, shoes as well? Chains? Like, oh, god damn, this... I, I know it's... Oh, <laughs> I don't even know. Right, that is going to be it for enough Gen Z today. They've, they've melted my brain cells. They never cease to amaze me. There were some weird things going on when I was in school, but this, this generation, not all of them, are very weird. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow all my socials. I hope you Game of Urgence have a wonderful day, and I will see you all next time.